Before we get started, this video has nothing to do with the LFO and the modulation section. This is just dealing with effects. And most of this comes from the reset control video that I did a while ago, in that it was looking at the chorus flanger and phaser devices, as well as at the end the LFO, because they all use a free running modulation to drive effects. And the main thing that I was getting at there was automating the reset button to gain a lot of control over what's happening. And so this video is dealing with something that I didn't actually notice. Uh, something that I'm only noticing now that I'm putting together an EP and it's got uh, various different songs within it. And the thing that I noticed is when you automate the LFO style effect through any of the effects that I mentioned, when you automate that with effect commands, it only comes into play when the effect command is countered during the playback of the song. Now this is completely unlike automation of anything else in Renoise. Anytime you automate uh, a parameter, either from any of the effects I mentioned or any other effect, uh, when you place the automation there, previous to that point in the song, it will also have changed what the parameter has done there because it can effectively backdate what it knows about what's happening there. The reason it can't do this with the LFO chorus flanger and phaser and another device which we'll come to later, the reason it can't do that is because they are free running modulations. That is, uh, they're constantly running regardless of whether the song is stopped or playing. Now, this is unique. None of the other effects do that. So, uh, what happens is you can make any changes to that LFO free running modulation and Renoise can't anticipate what would have happened previously. So, any changes that get backdated like normally happen with other parameters, that's just not possible here. The free running LFO style of modulation uh, takes place when you play the song and it takes up from where that LFO modulation already is and only when the effect command for a reset is encountered does a new effect come into play and it resets the modulation to the point that you've dictated to. It is kind of odd that I didn't notice that when making the reset control video but uh, I know how it works now and it is a very cool video if you want to go back and uh, see all the implications that are put forth in that. But there is another issue that we need to deal with here, which is, although in the reset control video, I uh, make a big deal about the fact that meta devices can use the reset as a destination, you can only use automation with an effect command, but not graphical automation for the reset. Why this is, I don't really know. Perhaps it's because the effect command is readily present on the pattern editor and when you play through the song it will be there to remind you that you've put this in place and this is what's going to happen. Whereas in graphical automation you would need to have that section open and you would need to be specifically clicked onto the reset if it existed and that's not always a guarantee but I really am just speculating here. I don't know why it's not present in the graphical automation. But like I alluded to, this also affects another device, which you might not expect. And that's the formula device. Now, when you first load it in, it actually becomes obvious why this is the case. Because the initial preset will be a free-running LFO. And the reason it's like this is because it's making use of that variable there, sample counter. And if we click on the help button and open the formula variables and functions, you can see within the musical variable section, there it is, sample counter, one of four in this section. Now, they all do the same kind of thing. They will create a constantly running modulation, uh, regardless of whether the song is stopped or playing. So if you're using this within your song, 
then it would be a good idea to have a reset style effect coded from one of the inputs if you've actually got space because there are only three inputs. Uh, this would allow you to do the same thing as the reset button for the other four devices that I've mentioned and so you would want to put the reset right at the start of the song so the song would always be guaranteed to play in the exact same way with this LFO modulation style effect that you built with the formula. Now I actually did that as part of the previous video dealing with the effects stepper and uh, you can go back and have a look at that and it'll give you a good idea within the code of how you can do that. It's actually pretty simple even though that video wasn't dealing with this uh, LFO style of modulation. <laughs> 